Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fragrance review. Today I'm on a moped, and I guess that's the first time you've ever seen a fragrance review on a moped, right? Well, I'm just cruising around here in the Swedish countryside, and now I'm gonna find a nice spot to do a review of this Swedish niche brand from Stockholm. I have two fragrances that they sent me in little samples, and I'm gonna try them out, give you my first impression, and maybe see if this is something you might want to pick up in this year of 2020. So, I'm gonna cruise around and see if I can find a nice spot. And uh, yeah, let's start the video. See you there. My name is Max Johnson and I'm the CEO and founder of Fragrance Group Enterprises. In our last analytics report it shows that over 80% of our monthly viewers are non-subscribing. This is a very high number and we have to take it down immediately. So if you watch our videos and if you want even better content in the future and even hotter girls, please click that little red subscribe button in the right down corner right now. Thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another fragrance review. I'm sitting here in the Swedish countryside once again and I'm gonna review a Swedish niche house brand. It's called SG79. It's a Stockholm based niche fragrance and I got four samples here. I got the number one, I got the number seven, number 21 and number 16 from the house. And uh, I'm gonna do a first impression of all these fragrances and let you know what I think about these fragrances. And and in general, these, is, these fragrances are uh, only like unisex. They just release unisex fragrances. So I don't know how I'm gonna react to this ones. So without further ado, let's start with the SG79 number one fragrance. First impression is it's re really citrusy. It's a little bit like, smells like a lemon, lemon shell, uh, orange, orange blossom. Very easy to like. And the top notes, orange peel, pink pepper, cardamom, uh, mid notes, ginger, nutmeg, coriander. Yeah, I will put the, uh, the notes in, in the video so you can watch by yourself. This is a um, pretty soft fragrance. It smells a lot of orange with this one. And I understand why they say that it's a, it's a unisex fragrance that they release, because this doesn't lean towards too masculine, either too feminine in this fragrance. I don't know about the other ones, but this is very pleasant, very, fresh with a like a little bit sour a little bit sour vibe but basically i feel the orange peel a little bit pink pepper in this one but like if i'm gonna round up the scent very mass appealing scent i think very very easy to like very very pleasant for both men and women but this smells a lot of orange said i have some benzoin lemon i kind of like this a bit so this one is uh, pretty good i would give this one a uh, eight i think it's not so masculine it's not so feminine of course it's a unisex fragrance so it lies in the middle in the middle section awesome fragrance let's move on to the second one okay this smells a little bit more feminine is a top novel pear and a lily of the valley there's some oud wood in there some wood some patchouli dry amber and musk but in general i would say this smells a little bit more like uh, a chanel fragrance uh, if i have to be honest this is not something that i would wear because i don't feel the the oud no god please no no no! The pear, pear note in the top that it's very sweet, very feminine, and also a lot of patchouli that could be pretty, uh, pretty feminine note, you know. It smells like a woman, this one, even though it is uh, promoted as unisex fragrance, this one as well, I think. Yeah, th this is more something that I think a woman should, uh, should wear than a guy. And they have some uh, little bit text here in the fragrances. It said it's inspired by journeys to different exotic cultures. This fragrance is glamorous, opulent, and mysterious. Like 
like a voyage of discovery into the unknown. A scent that celebrates deep and sensual elements of the Orient, start with tempting notes of pear and lily of the valley, following by warm oud and wood and patchouli. The base is intense and rich with dry amber and musk. But basically guys, this is really feminine, this scent. I don't feel the musk, I don't feel the wood, I just feel pear, lily of the valley, a lot of patchouli. For me, it's a no-go. This is a no-go, I would give this a, a two, because it's too feminine, it smells awesome on a lady, but not on a guy. So ladies, if you watch this and want a good fragrance, a little bit niche, more niche quality fragrance from a Stockholm uh, Swedish perfume brand SD779, try the number seven, because I think it's, it works well with the ladies. But guys, stay away from this one. We move into the number 16 fragrance. So I got the nice little drop. Oh, this was uh, very, very sweet. I haven't opened the note section. I don't know what notes in this, but also for a woman. Okay, I'm gonna read the description. It, it would be a cypress floral fragrance with a bouquet of fresh, sweet notes. A modern oriental fragrance with a feminine composition, yeah, of course, and expressing the refined sensuality and freshness at the same time. You hear the notes, very feminine notes, a lot of flowers in this one, a rose, a orange, a patchouli, caramel, vanilla. This smells like a fragrance that would be really good on a night out for a lady. A good fragrance if she's going out with friends, super, super nice. But for guys, it's a no-go. This is super feminine, this fragrance. Last two leans to towards the feminine side 100%, and much more than the masculine type of scent. So on a woman, really nice, really sexy. This reminds me a little bit of Dolce Gabbana, the one for her, actually. You know the vanilla scent, even though it's really sensual, it's really like dressed up at the same time. It's an elegant woman with a good confidence who knows what he, she wants, but re really, really good fragrance for the ladies, but not for a man. But as a lady scent, if you a lady's watching, I would give this a nine because it's very good. And the last one of today is number 21, it's called. Okay, also feminine in the opening. I haven't watched this yet. Straight out of the top, feminine scent. 100% feminine florals, florals, rose, jasmine, maybe some vanilla, I don't know. I'm gonna check what I say here. Leaves, orange, blos blossom, cardinal flower, calla lily, amber, cedarwood. I don't smell the cedarwood, maybe because it's in the base note, I, it's only opening, but flowers, orange, fig leaves, maybe, I don't know, but very floral fragrance, very feminine type of scent. And they have a little description of this as well. It says a radiant floral. It opens with zesty orange, luminous orange blossom and earthy fig leaves. As the scent develops, creamy frangipani, or how do you call it, cardinal flowers and calla lily creates a delicious fragrance bouquet. The base, notes of amber wood and cedar wood and a sun-kissed effect to the scent. So yeah, this, this is a floral bond in my opinion. As they said, a cardinal flower creation with like a fragrant bouquet, a bouquet of flowers. Exactly what, what I feel as well when I smell this fragrance. So if I'm gonna pick one of these fragrances, it's the first one. That could be both for men and women for me, but that is actually a one that I could wear myself. But the other three fragrances is too feminine for me and uh, for a lot of you guys out there as well, I think. So the number one, I think that was the number one, the first one um, I, thought, I thought it was called. Yeah, number one fragrance. I would really suggest that one because that was really, really good. If you want something from Sweden, some niche brand from Sweden, try this little fragrance or buy a sample because uh, this was uh, pretty fuck. but uh, the other ones if you're a guy stay away from them too feminine too floral too girly I don't really know how I will or how I feel about this that uh, a fragrance brand only produces and releases unisex fragrances I think it's good that they are on the market but I think it's also good that they have both male fragrances and female fragrances because a lot of guys don't want this unisex type of quality to it like if I see a really masculine guy, like a wood wood shopper guy, it, it would be weird if he were some of these fragrances. So even though I think it's cool that they release the unisex fragrance now and then, I think that brand should also have clear feminine fragrances, a typical like more male type of scents. So you have easier to pick, you know, because if I just blind buy one of these fragrances for a friend or something like that, that, that would be really weird, I think. Especially if there's unisex fragrance, you have to try the first in samples before you buy, especially like a brand like this from Stockholm. So keep that in mind, guys. I prefer 
to have both unisex and male and female fragrances. But that's just my opinion. It's really popular now in Sweden that everything is going to be unisex. You know, there's nothing male, nothing female here. That's like the vibe in Sweden right now. So I understand what, what they're coming from. I understand what the thought process when they produce these fragrances because it's very popular right now to have that type of mindset. So that was the review for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review of this Swedish niche brand and take care of each other. And I'll see you the next time. Bye bye. You watch this reg regular and that's a because the hell that is yet la hoi and that's a number all my yeah like try bait and also the head hooked I have lost a yeah last year and I ask a snack yeah